What you mean, what's gone wrong? Kelly telling me that you're sleepy with another one just because she sees me with a stuff. me. So chit chat, y'all. It's been a while since we've done the chit chat, chit chat, birthday chit chat. Got a little drinky drink. My hair is slinging for the gods, honey. We are going to try and um curl her hair, hair curl her. Girl, drink. I'm gonna try to curl my hair with a flat iron. And so this will be a separate video. I'm probably not gonna be, to be able to do, to do all of it because I got several things going on. The babies are outside swimming. They all can swim. But as an adult, I need to be go going out there like every five to eight minutes and checking on them. You never know what could happen. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started, you guys. I'm gonna be spraying my hair with this olive oil stuff yet again. Ooh, girl, it's hot. We're going to separate my hair in sections. Look, I'm gonna have to take this off. Hold on, baby. It's hot, y'all. Up to! Let me turn around so y'all can see all the glory that shall be revealed. All right. And look, this is up, so let's see. Girl, girl, it's hot. Let's go ahead and put this up, y'all. Let me hush up and start getting it together. My hair has been in this state for about a week. We're gonna turn around to the back. Okay. Girl, what is this? Girl, run, run on Osley. All right, y'all, we're gonna separate this off. Look, girl, that's a hairstyle in itself. Ooh, child. Girl deal was this hell so y'all know how we do this we talk about what's going on in my personal life when i'm watching on youtube and then what i'm watching on tv y'all i'm excited let me tell you something covid is not going anywhere as a virus it will continue to mutate or do whatever because this whole mission is to thrive and survive please be careful family is great baby we are trying to move back to texas as y'all know and we're trying to move into a um, apartment temporarily. Y'all, who in the hell can afford these apartment prices? What's the apartment prices looking like where y'all at? Okay, Alemanic, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Um, I think I'm gonna do it like this. So what are the apartment prices looking at where y'all are at? Let me know, girl, in the comments. Y'all, I may have to do it the other way. That's hard as hell. And I got three more hours of this to go. Shh. So anyway, y'all, we're looking at apartments and we need a short-term lease. First of all, the apartments are already starting off at $1,500 for a one-bedroom. $1,500. $1,800 for a two-bedroom. Now, when we do short-term lease, it's going over $2,000. Excuse me told one man i'm like how many lap dances are people doing around here to afford this because he started laughing I'm like seriously this is ridiculous now we'll have no other choice i'm gonna go the other way around y'all because i can't do that we'll have no other choice but to pay those ridiculous ass prices to get out of here you know because we'll only I, I we take it that we'll probably be here for two months in an apartment but spending yeah see that that's a lot better spending at least minimum five thousand dollars for everything for two months in a damn apartment absolutely ridiculous so that's what we're doing right now okay that didn't take y'all hold on okay um in the midst of that i'm decluttering um i already don't have a lot a lot of stuff but you'll be surprised some of the stuff you find once you are ready to move you know what i mean so I'm going through everything and getting rid of stuff, girl. I told y'all, you know, you know what? That don't even, that won't even matter because you won't even see all that. <laughs> Shoot, decluttering, going through each room, determining what I need, what I don't need, um, putting stuff in bulk, pick up, placing stuff in donation, um, 
you know, taking stuff to the Goodwill, selling stuff. So that's the game plan this month. And so, yeah, let's see if this will work, y'all. There we go. All right, then, Miss Jackson. Oh, Miss Denza. There we go, girl. Now we only got 300 more pieces to go. Um. So, y'all, how are y'all kids doing in school? Those of you who have kids. How are they doing? You know, since I homeschool, I like to get a temperature check on how other people's children are doing because I'm hearing from some educators and my friend is a teacher and she's like, these kids are hardly not learning anything. I mean, I'm like, well, dang. Right now, since we're so busy, we are doing what we can. And um, we do, we're gonna be doing quite a bit of project-based learning. For example, one of the projects I just printed out, and I purchased this stuff earlier in the year, one of the projects I just printed out is President for a Week. And so, it incorporates different subjects. And so, my girlfriend, as I told y'all before in the past, I always be worried whether or not I'm teaching JB the right amount of information if, if he's actually getting it. And so, my my really good girlfriend, Wanda, who came over and spent the night, the other day she was like Vivian he's a he's very intelligent he's your child's a genius because she sits there and she was talking to him for like almost an hour he was showing her her old school collection and she's like the way that he conceptualizes things most college students can't even do that so my birthday is coming up on the 11th shout out to all the Leos Birthday is coming up. My husband decided that, you know, his birthday would be the day after my mind. We really are not doing anything, you guys, for our birthday. We may we may go out to eat one day, but honestly, um, our goal is to be apartment searching and trying to find a place. Um, I got to get a storage unit because we can't fit all this stuff into a two-bedroom apartment. People who are in the medical field right now, they have people that are that are becoming sick so when my husband and anyone who's in a medical hole right now when they have people who are sick that's more stress on them okay he said that they had like 150 covid cases last week and they were only at 30 the month before you know they were averaging about 30 a week like this is crazy the numbers are supposed to be going down and they're not <sighs> so I know so many people who are frustrated over all of this. And yeah, people are like, well, it's still a 90 percentile um, recovery rate. But what y'all don't realize, like people like my, my best friend's husband, he's recovering from COVID, but we don't know what the long-term symptoms are going to be. I mean, he had pneumonia. He had blood clots in his lungs. So yeah, y'all. Um. Anyway, enough of that, girl. So let's, let's try to do a up close to this because this is getting on my nerves. Let's see, y'all. Did I do it? It sure did. All right. All right, y'all. So what I'm watching on YouTube for a change, I'm actually watching quite a bit of YouTube. Um, I've been watching Bailey. She does the Makeup Murder and Mystery on Mondays. That's her theme song, y'all. I love her. Um... Uh, yeah, I've been, been binge watching some of her videos while I'm working. And like I said, I love her. I like her energy. She's cool. Girl, what is this? That was work. So, yeah, you guys, watching her. Um, girl, watching Sean with the strawberry lady, the strawberry letter. Some of y'all know who Sean is. She has people who write her for advice. And so, girl, she has someone write in. This this person has got to be lying. A young woman wrote in to Sean and was basically saying, I think the title of the strawberry letter was something like, um, the wife showed up to my house and I've been seeing the husband for 12 years. You already know it's some BS. You already know. So apparently this woman has been seeing this other 
since seeing this man, excuse me, and he is married. And she says in the strawberry letter, I have never met someone that I have connected with on a emotional, spiritual level. Uh, something else, girl. And I'm like, you can't even connect with someone on a spiritual level when he's bound by covenant to another woman. Cut the BS. Like as soon as as soon as she read that part, I was like, how is that even possible? How can you? Be? Anyway, okay. So she was writing Sean Saint stating that the wife showed up at her house, and she basically was tight-lipped. Didn't let you know the wife know how long they've been together. And Sean is right. The wife been knowing that they've been together this long. Um, and that now all of a sudden, he's for sure that he's not going to leave his wife. And she's upset because she feels like she's wasted time with this man. And she doesn't know what she should do because he's buying her a new car while she's still driving the same raggedy car. Oh, and by the way, he's getting upset if she tries to date someone else. So she wants to know what she should do. And I'm just like, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. So you upset because you wasted your life spending 12 years as a side piece and his wife has a new car, their bills are paid and you're struggling. And now he's telling you, uh, yeah, I don't want you seeing any other dudes. Girl, if you don't get out that toxic ass relationship, be single for a while, 12 years, she was a side piece. And is upset and won't know what she should do. Because now he's definitely is not going to leave his wife. And she's sitting here and she felt like she's going, yeah, you have wasted your time. Don't waste any more time. I really don't get it, you guys. I, I mean, I understand that she's, she's in love. More than likely, she's in love with this man. And he, she's, she's convenient for him because he can go over there and literally do whatever he want. You know, knowing that that's his side you know throw her some money probably every now and then if it's like that and then go home to his wife you know what i mean he has the best of both worlds so he's the one that's benefiting no one else is um the wife is to a certain degree because she has wife privileges the side piece is not getting anything out of this that's just sad that's really sad that there are sisters out there that still do this but hopefully she takes sean advice and you know move on because there's nothing going to come out of that nothing it's going to come out of that nothing at all so what else am i looking at i was looking at a few of ashley miller's videos y'all know ashley i think she's out in chicago i was looking at some of her videos earlier ashley's gotten better with her language because y'all she used to curse a lot so i don't know if she's like necessarily you know she's matured or she's you know taking to, to consideration her audience and she's really toning down on the heavy language, which I, I mean, I curse. Y'all hear me curse, but she was really using some, like, the big curse words. You know what I mean? So, yeah, she's kind of toned that down some, which is cool. Um, you know who I was watching, and I actually absolutely love her. I was watching some of Little Kim's old interviews. And, y'all, I could honestly say, like, she was on Hot 96 with Angie and, um... She did one with petty ass Charlemagne. Um, I I actually I like Little Kim. I hate what she's done to her. So we we gonna have to move past that, right? It is what it is. I hate that you know. She was so broken that she did that to herself, but it is what it is. But you can tell that Little Kim has still remained Little Kim. You know what I mean? She really has, and I absolutely adore her. Um, Jim Naturals. Jim Natural became very popular. She's a YouTuber. Natural hair. She became very, very popular with her videos of her twin. And really, she's really good at editing videos, right? And so she was able to splice up her videos to make it seem like she had a, a double ganger almost, but it was her the entire time. She took a little break from YouTube and now she is back. Her, one of her recent videos basically is titled, um, I'm thinking of quitting YouTube. 
unfortunately when you take a long break from YouTube and I think she took like 10 months which is almost a year you lose your core audience so you have to come back hard and more than likely you have to come back and do some content that you may not necessarily end it with like go back to doing a couple of hair videos to get that audience again and then go back and do your skits or whatever that you like to do to to remain creative you know that inspires you as a content creator so she she was not necessarily complaining but then saying that she puts in all this time on her channel and her views have been very low and they are low um and so i love a comment and i said you know what i hear what you're saying but as as a fellow YouTuber, you know, and content creator, I talked to other YouTubers and they, we're all complaining about the same thing. That our views are very low. It is what it is. You know what I mean? And so it is really easy to get discouraged on here, y'all. Um, and she's right. You spend a lot of time. I mean, I'm pretty sure she spends way more time than we do because of the professionalism of her editing. But then again you know you spend all this time editing and uploading the videos just to get a few hundred views and it's like is it really worth it you know at the end of the day is it really worth worth it but i do it because i like it you know what i mean and if i only get 300 400 views hey it is what it is you know what i mean so but i i totally understand where she's coming from as a youtuber so Keisha Cole's mama, Frankie, apparently OD'd not too long ago. Absolutely horrible and, and sad. I thought she was clean. I didn't know that she was back to using. But well, from my understanding, you guys, a lot of people um, are struggling with addiction um, due to COVID. And, and just the world in general, there's just so many things going on. And people are really struggling with mental health. You know, and so the thing that shook me up though, Kia, y'all know Kia, my neck, my back, that Kia. Kia did a video. I didn't even know she was doing this ratchet Supreme Court stuff still. Um, Kia did a video, very distasteful, very distasteful. Look, you do not come after someone's dead relative. And just very tacky and I just I can't believe she did that. Is she that strung up for views that she would talk about someone like that? Addiction is no joke. You know what I mean? And it's really hard for people to understand that if they haven't been around someone who suffered with it. Um it's so it's not something to joke about and take lightly, especially if the person succumbs to it like Keisha Cole's mom did. It's, it's that's just tacky what she, what she did. They may cancel her for that, and I wouldn't blame them. All right, y'all, we're getting down to the last wire of this hair, y'all. And so let me tell y'all what I'm watching on TV, child. Girl, let's do this piece over. Girl. Um, so you guys, I watch on YouTube for free. I'm gonna get you sucker again. <laughs> the one the Wayne and brothers are geniuses. They're they're comedic geniuses. Let me tell you something. I was dying when the sister was singing when the saints go marching in. When the saints go marching in and in and in. Oh yeah. <laughs> Girl. JB had never seen it before. He was like, Mama, are those fish in his shoes? <laughs> When the, when the pimp was walking out with the shoes, I said, yeah, baby, those are fish in his shoes, y'all. Absolutely hilarious. We watched that the other night when my girlfriend was over. Uh, girl, we got a few more pieces. Um, what else have I been watching? We watched Space Jam, at least JB did, and he liked it. Um, Space Jam with LeBron James. And we saw... Look, this is, I didn't do that good. I saw, um, 
there's a good movie that I'm still watching, girl, on on uh, YouTube called I Still See You. It is very different, you guys, and I think I'm gonna start it over. It's called I Still I Still See You, and it's interesting. It's a thriller mystery type of movie yeah no shows that i'm currently watching i tried to do manifest again no i am gonna do the one that is stuck in three decades of the three years in the 90s i gotta really pay attention to that one um but yeah that's about it girl i'm not really what are y'all watching what are y'all watching on tv huh Y'all, I'm gonna finish this with some hairspray. When I tell you I am hot as hell, um, there's probably some pieces that are missing, baby, look. We're gonna check the mirror. Hold on. Yes, you better come through, weather girl. Okay. Yeah, it's already falling too, look at that. But it's, it's so full. All right, y'all, let's shake it around. Very nice. I'll turn around to the back. Girl, oh my gosh. Y'all, this is my first time ever curling my hair like this. That is it, y'all. This hair, yeah, we're gonna kinda do something with it, but baby, it is what it is, so. Uh, that is it, you guys, so thank you so much for watching, and thank you as always to all of my subscribers. Take care, bye.